Hi folks, welcome to TK Action's V5 quick tip number two. In the first quick tip, we covered a few basic luminosity masking tasks using the V5 panel, including how to view masks, how to apply masks to adjustment layers, and how to change masks on adjustment layers. This time, we'll look at how to make quick and easy modifications to luminosity masks with the V5 panel. The Rapid Mask module has buttons to make 14 standard masks and 21 zone and half zone masks for the composite channel. It can also make all of those masks for each of the red, green, and blue channels as well as saturation and color ranges. Often one of those standard masks will do just what you need, but other times it's really helpful to be able to modify or customize one of the standard masks so that it even better suits your needs. The V5 panel gives you a variety of options for mask modification. The red buttons in the V5 panel are for making mask modifications. The first step is to find a starting mask that's close to what you need. I want to start off with this image by making adjustments to the red, orange, and bright areas of the sky to kind of richen those up and darken them down a bit. So I'm going to start with the composite channel and see what that looks like and then also look at the red channel because I think that will target those areas even better and it does. Next, I'm going to look at a mid-tone mask from the red channel because I want to protect those very brightest highlights so I don't end up clipping those. And so that's a number one mid-tones and that's a number two mid-tones. I think this mask is doing a pretty good job of getting at the tones that I want. Those areas of the image that I want to focus on are lighter and areas that I don't want to affect like the brightest highlights in that sunset as well as the trees are darker. And yet it's still a little too broad of a mask. I want to modify this so it's better suited. The first thing I'm going to do is use the auto button which will set an auto levels for this which will basically take the brightest tones in the mask and set those to white and take the darkest tones and set those to black. So that's looking even better but this mask is still too broad. It's going to allow the adjustments to bleed out into this part of the sky, these darker clouds, and also into some of the trees more than I want. So now I'm going to try the infinity adjustment. And this actually allows me to adjust the mid-tone slider and leave more and more of just those brightest tones behind. Let's see, maybe somewhere in there is the mask I want. I like that because it's now going to totally protect the trees and it's going to largely protect these darker parts of the sky and allow my adjustments just to go into these parts of the clouds and the reflection where I want them. So I'm going to say OK. And now it's time to apply that to an adjustment layer. Now if you're in the CS6 version of this panel, you don't have this adjust menu button here. That's not possible in CS6. So what you would need to do is select the adjustment layer you want out of the control panel and then click apply to apply this mask to that adjustment layer. But in the CC panel, you can just go to the adjust menu and I'm going to pick a levels adjustment. And there's my levels adjustment layer with that mask attached. And now when I make adjustments through that mask you can see I'm able to darken those parts of the sky that I want to affect and I have to be careful here that I don't overdo it in some areas and get the adjustment so it's looking just right and you can see that that's really just affecting those bright parts of the sky that I want to affect and if I did that adjustment without this mask you can see it would really start blocking up my trees and affecting parts of the clouds where I didn't want it to have an effect Okay, now I want to make an adjustment for the more blue areas of this, uh, this image. And for this, I'm going to go to the blue channel. And I'm also going to use the pick button because I want to pick a tone out of this area of the image in that blue channel. So there's the mask that the Tone Picker tool allowed me to select. And that's pretty good. But again, it's going to affect more into the trees and the dark reflections than I want. And it's not quite doing what I want out here. I want more of that adjustment coming into these areas. So again, I'm going to hit the, uh, the Auto button to auto set levels for that. And then I'm going to hit Focus to even further focus that mask. 
and then I'm going to use contract to contract that mask down a couple of clicks and now I'm really isolating those parts of the uh, the clouds that I want but again not affecting the trees and these brighter parts of the sky that I want to leave alone and I'm going to uh, apply that to another levels adjustment layer and now I can use those to or use that levels adjustment to further fine tune the darks, lights, and midtones through that mask and really dial that in how I want. And again, without that mask, that's what that adjustment would look like. It would really block up my trees and it would blow out a lot of my highlights. So these are some very uh, refined, modified masks. They're not masks that are part of the standard mask set that you could get just by clicking one of these buttons. In a lot of cases those masks would do what you need, but if you need to have a more refined, targeted, specialized mask, then these red buttons that allow you to modify and customize masks are the ones to go to. And we can just take a look. This is what the image looked like out of the raw file and after I made those adjustments. That did a great job. So that's been another TK Actions V5 quick tip. I hope it was good for you and I look forward to seeing you on the next one.